Welcome to Like a Ghost in a Shell podcast. If you're new here, my name's Rick. I don't like bragging, but I think I have a lot to offer skill-wise. So, with this podcast, I use personal experiences and research from people that are out doing the same thing, researching and sharing what they learn or believe could be of great use to anyone interested. That said, I believe we're like fish in the ocean. Some learn to evolve their species, while others learn to transform, create new ones and evolve, many species. I think your mind and mindset should be priority before becoming an adult at 18 years of age. So, take what I say with a grain of salt, and be sure to consider donating to my online presence or by becoming a supporter via Spotify slash anchor.fm slash like Augustina Show. Segment 1 questions to find answers. A lot of changes in my personal life that I've been fortunate enough to create have all stemmed somewhere. That somewhere is what we'll explore in this segment. I'll be honest. At first, I wouldn't really consider making changes because I thought differently as a young adult. So, it wouldn't be until I started to feel or hit those those rock-bottom symptoms that I would think about or start to make change. Only then would I start to consume, study or mentally pitch a ten next to, until I'd get better then before you know it, start the cycle all over again. The question I ask is, how can a person know when to make changes? But, as the title of this segment states, this segment is about just that. You'll know. When you start asking the right questions to find answers. The reality is, if I told you the exact answer of, How to know when a person should make changes. You probably wouldn't make any attempt at anything. But an answer I could give you is this. When you go to the gym, there are days when you never want to step foot back into that place. Just to throw it out there. Addiction is just like that. When you're addicted to scrolling through TikTok or YouTube shorts for three hours straight, sadly, even just the thought of, Great, I have to fix this habit now is like that same thing with the gym. Once you have a habit that may be wasting your time, just thinking about having to go back and fix it is sometimes annoying. So, the next question is, if your life is that luxurious to the point that you can literally be lazy with your choices, as an American, and if you don't want to fix a habit that's sucking away three hours of your life, you don't have to lift a finger. The next dimension on that thought is, How can you be trusted with more physical dinero if you can't be strengthened with the unseen riches? It's like life is at the dinner table with you, saying without words, Show me your work ethics, your values, your self-belief, and I'll give you answers. Segment 2. Answers. The architecture of this segment revolves around this. What you do with answers is where the real change is. I'll use myself as an example. I once spent too long in the swimming pool and my skin got really wrinkly. I got out of the pool, shivering, cold, and could barely move. Backslash. I'd ask my parents, why does that happen to my skin? Their answer was, you have to learn how to get out of the pool sooner. Until I did, then my skin started to look like it does when I see myself in the mirror in the morning. So, what's the point of the story, right? Let's say, you've started making changes already. On the imaginary timeline of making changes, there's a section where you sometimes plateau, and you may be overstaying in that plateau-like swimming pool. Way too long. That plateau-like swimming pool is called the pool of research with no actions from the answers. Excuse the harsh truth, but tough love comes in many ways. Chuckles. How ironic is life, huh? If you stay stuck in a mindset for too long, before you know it, you're too broke to retire and or too old to enjoy retirement if you get to. This podcast concept started as a theory and is a work in progress. But that work in progress is at this point. It's when you start to ask the right people the right questions and continue researching their answers then it's what you do with the research that won't leave your skin wrinkly. Segment 3. Game Planning. Real Changes. Don't discredit yourself. Honest truth 
It's so easy to narrow down one mistake and judge you or yourself, just from that one point in time. But don't forget, we all have our daily, weekly, monthly, annual highlighted moments in time. I'm starting to think that real self-capitalizing and self-finessing comes from studying those highlighted moments and building game plans from those moments in time. Perfect way to find blind spots, fix, correct or draw vibes and energy from, and more. Whether it be behind the scenes or in public. Highlighted moments. Your progress depends on it. If you enjoyed this episode, visit my website and pick up the Apex. I built a tool using Notion. It's such a badass platform and app that you can't wrong with it. With the Apex, you can systematize your learning, research, writing, creative, personal, and business life. Track your progress in the gym, progress in life and plenty more, in an advanced and focused method. I'm currently building out a mentor section for the Apex. So, I'm using my involvement and acceptance into a unique school that offers a nights and weekends, seven-week showdown to build a cool idea. To find out more of what I do over the internet, visit my digital business card from the link in the description.